Good morning, boys and girls. Pastor Ryan and Miss Hannah here. Welcome back to Kids Church. It's been an incredible month discovering how creative God is and how he's made us to be creative oh, too. You know what, Miss Hannah? I remembered from last time that there's sometimes five Sundays in a month, right? Yeah. So we're finishing out our series, My Little Pony, the Storybook Creations. You're so silly. No, we're creativity? not. No. no. We're finishing our indescribable series, oh, right, yeah. boys and girls? How we discover how creative God is. Uh, oh, yeah. Creativity. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's mm. image. God's made some awesome creative things. And you know what? One of them, believe it or not, is salt. Salt is a basic ingredient that we probably don't really think of, right? We put it on our popcorn, we put it on desserts, I don't know, eggs. I don't know how you like salt. But you know what? Salt is a really important thing in the world. Yes, and you know what? Jesus even compares us to salt in the Bible. Jesus compares us to salt? Yeah. Is it because we're sweaty? Like when we no. get sweaty, we have like salt? Not because you're sweaty. Well, when I don't shower, I'm sweaty. It's because salt makes a big difference in food and we make a big difference in people's lives. Wow, preach. You know what, Miss Hannah? I think instead of a game today, we should do a challenge. <gasps> what challenge? I think with parents' permission, we should challenge the kids to make their favorite salty food or dessert Ooh. that you have to put salt in. Because salt yeah. tastes good, right? You know what, Miss Hannah? I have something. I wonder what he's been working on. Miss Hannah, I have been baking this all day. It is my favorite <gasps> dessert ever. Are I'm you ready? So excited. Are you ready? I'm ready. This took me like 39 hours to do. Oh my goodness, ready? I can't wait. Ta da! Miss Hannah, a chocolate sea salt protein bar. Uh, what? It took me like 900 hours to make this. It's literally my favorite. Oh my goodness. This... You did not make that pasta, Ryan. Well, How did you get I it did... in that I... package? Miss Hannah, I did make it anyway. Boys and girls, we're going to go into worship now. So everybody stand up and let's worship God. All right.
Wow, boys and girls, that was amazing worship. We're going to jump into our Bible story for the day. If you want, you can grab your Bible and follow along. We're going to be in the first book of the New Testament today. That's Matthew. So let's check it out now. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Keisha Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Myers letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped the smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope. Salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? You want to test it out? Fine. I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings work quickly as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly, or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one about salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits, you know. The cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preach a man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach. And pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. That's it? Well, no. I mean, then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better. And people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace. All that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do. And they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted, trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus. By showing God's love to others. When we do that, 
others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm going to put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would have came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt and light herself. What a great Bible story. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. What does that even mean? Yeah, back then, salt, believe it or not, was actually really, really valuable. It was like worth so much money. Roman soldiers actually got paid in salt sometimes. Imagine getting paid in salt to do your chores or doing the dishes or mowing the lawn. I don't know about that. That would be so silly. <laughs> that would, but why did Jesus say we're like the salt? We're like salt. Is it because we're good at cooking or? No, silly. Salt wasn't only valuable, but it preserves things. It keeps things good and fresh for a really long time. And that's how we're supposed to act. We're supposed to make things good in the world by showing God's love with our actions. To keep the saltiness, Jesus even took it a step further and he told the crowd that we're like the light of the world. Mm. And what do lights do? They shine in the darkness. Where did you get that, Pastor Ryan? I honestly don't know. But Miss Hannah, Jesus said being a light, being kind and loving to others is following what Jesus wants us to do. Wow. So we can be the light of the world. We can be shining in the darkness. We are this. So if there's one thing that you remember today, it's that God created you to share his story. Mm -hmm. God created everything, right? He created light that lights and shines up the darkness. And like we said, God wants us to be a light to others, mm -hmm. being kind and treating them with love. So I pray today, that we continue to be lights in the darkness. So we're gonna close out in prayer. Ms. Hannah, can you pray for us? Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for this series this month, God. We just ask that you would fill us up with your light, God, and that you would allow us to shine brightly in our homes and our schools to our friends, Lord, that our friends and our family would see something that's different in us, God, and it would be your light shining through us, God, that you would make us bold, you would give us saltiness amongst our friends and our family, God, that we would be your hands extended, God, Lord, bless these kids. Bless our week, God. We love you so much. We give you all the glory. In your awesome name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, it's been such a fun month of indescribable. Indescribable. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Boys and girls, we'll see you next time for a new series. Hope you have an awesome week, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.